So the the people in the Nikola Tesla fan club somehow feel that he got wronged in his life. Okay. And sh- surely some of that is true with regard to patents. his business acumen yes. and patents and, and who owns the patent and who does, does he have good business sense? Is he as savvy or as, as sneaky, whatever other words you might apply to Edison, all right? So I get that. But his contributions to electromagnetism are real and recognized in the world of physics. Like I said, there's a unit of electromagnetism named after him. So don't come crying to me say he was not recognized by my people. Okay, he's recognized. He had some ideas that were a little out there and out there on a level where it almost certainly would have not worked. And here's why. Okay, um, electromagnetic energy is communicating between us. I, I see you. That's because visible light is reflecting off of your scalp. Okay, to me. It's reflecting off of my nose back to you. You can ask, how much energy is in that? Well, not much. It's not much energy in a visible light photons. If you stay there long enough, you might feel a little warmth from it. But no, you're not going to drive a car with that energy. You're not going to run a motor with it. Okay. Well, of what good is it? Oh, you know what we found? We can use electromagnetic radio waves, which are the lowest form of electromagnetic energy, lowest energy level of all of it. We can use radio waves not to transmit energy. That's not the point of it. The point is to transmit information. And information became what characterized the modern era. And that's why in the 1950s and 60s, when everyone is imagining flying cars and motorized uh, sidewalks, everything is running on energy because they're thinking energy is going to be free in the future. But what they didn't figure was that information would be free or easy to transmit and to generate and to store and to to delete. And whereas the, the energy that it would take to move things and to drive things, that would be a problem. No one saw that coming. Nobody saw that coming. So as your photons get higher and higher energy, yes, you can start doing things with them. You get X-rays and gamma rays, but that's not what Tesla was referring to. He was talking about moving radio waves through the space that would charge things up. You can't pack sufficient energy in your radio wave to do anything we need to do mechanically. Currently. Currently. Well, but back then, would it be sufficient? There might have been something you could have done with your radio waves because the needs were. No, but that. No, no, I take that back. That was the height of the Industrial Revolution. That was the age of the machine, the age of the giant turbines. Radio energy is not touching that. Right, but wasn't it possible that he was considering it for things like radios or light bulbs or household items? Would it, would it be possible to use that power for that? So now what, so what happens? So the radio waves, if you had enough power in radio waves to generate a light bulb, to power a light bulb, well, how, through the air, are you standing in the way of this? This energy has pathways. We now send energy through wires. Because right. you're not standing in the way of the wire. The wire is buried. The wire has insulation. It would the wire is sort of on a high effect. suspension. Thing. You want to move it through the air and you want to walk around like, no, that's not how that works. What, I, what I've heard. If you're moving discuss, enough energy through the air to power something that itself could kill you, the energy powering through the, moving through the air could kill you. Unless you, you bring a little bit amount and then you store it and then use it later. You could do it that way. Sure. Some sort of battery system. Yeah, you need a storage system. But you would still probably have some sort of residual effect of having this stuff broadcast through the air. And who knows what it would do to human health. If you needed that much energy, right now, the energy to transmit information is so low that it, no, it has no effect on your health. So we're inside. I can pull out my cell phone and have a phone call. Yes. These are microwaves of a frequency that can penetrate walls, send information to my cell phone, and I can communicate using information and not have that energy kill me. But it's not enough to power the actual it device It is not itself. enough to power the device. 
Correct. Yeah. So in Tesla, in Tesla's so Tesla, days, everyone is thinking he's got the solution to the future transmission of energy. No, he doesn't. Well, I don't think anyone's saying that. But what he they did, are and his is, fans do. But back then, there were no computers. Back then, Correct. there were no televisions. But we did have machines. It was the era of the big machine. Right, but I don't think he was insinuating that you could use. I don't that know what to he wanted to power factories. with it. I don't know what he would have powered with it, if not light bulbs and other things. 